what's up, what's up? Y'all know what time it is. You know, hit that subscribe button. But what I want to talk to you about is money. What is money and how it exists and why we spend it and why we love it? Okay, money, beginning, is nothing but a piece of paper printed. We make the value of it. Once you make the value of something, then it becomes valuable to that person. See, the money meant is only meant to give you a sense of relief. That's what earned income. When you got earned income, you have a sense of accomplishment, put it that way. You tend to find money as though it's something that's uh, relatively compensation for your work. You trade hours for money, which this money, basically it's monopoly money. But what you can do, you can trade that money for assets. Things like houses, cars, you know. But cars is not an asset. That's a liability. Know that for sure. Once you know that cars is a liability, then you will begin to understand the realms of this thing called money. I know you see rappers getting on there with large amounts of it. But what do it mean? See, that's what you gotta find out. Brothers and sisters, it's a lot of stuff that you need to know about this world, especially about money. I've noticed that y'all find it to be uh, quite amusing, especially the ladies. Oh, I gotta have money, I gotta have money. First of all, how you gotta have money but you ain't putting nothing in? Or you think your looks gonna get it for you? Right now, I can give you $40,000. Just take this, $40,000. What will you do with that money? You can't do shit with it. We can do it like this. You got forty thousand dollars. I got a seven thirty nine credit score. Who you think will win in the end? Who you think will win in the end? Me. The reason why I think I'll win in the end, and I'll know I'll win in the end. Because I have credit. Credit I can leverage. You can't leverage money. What you could do is you could take that money and everything that you need, you got to pinch off of that money. So therefore, that money is not making money for you. Credit I can leverage. And I'll always have credit as long as I keep my credit score good. What can you do? So it's not all about money, sisters and brothers. It's all about credit. You can do the same thing, sisters. You can do the same thing, brothers. The same thing. When your credit is good, you good. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how much money you got. I can leverage my credit. I leverage it out and that's why I can get what I want see we fighting about the almighty dollar but the almighty dollar don't mean anything see that's what they had us fighting for the almighty dollar but look at those rich people they sit down and let you fight like a motherfucker you be fighting over it like a motherfucker but it don't mean shit. Remember that movie? Remember that movie? It says, because he wanted to sleep with uh, this man's girl or he wanted to be with this girl for one night. He gave that man money, millions of dollars. 
but you didn't understand the matrix of that movie. It's called Indecent Exposure or the Indecent Propo Proposal. Yeah, that's what it's called. Indecent Proposal. Now, when he did this, he was a rich man. I'll give you a million dollars if I, if you let me sleep with your girl. So he did. Now guess what? That caused all kind of problems in their relationship. But he went on because he was rich. He went on. He got what he wanted. He was rich. Because a million dollars ain't shit. If you don't know what to do with it. If you don't know what to do with it. They wouldn't dare give me a man like me no million dollars. Not give it. Because I know what to do with it. And I know what money is. Money ain't nothing but digits on somebody's screen. Even though you can see some tangible. It ain't nothing but digits on the screen. Because you got to give that money up to somebody. Where do it go? What are you buying? How much is coming in? Constantly. See, when you look at money, you will realize that money ain't nothing. It ain't got nothing, it won't be nothing, and it can't do nothing. We add value to money. I can compensate you for your time, money. Oh man, when people uh, uh, sit and laugh at me and talk about me and you know this, that, and the other, guess what? I kill them because I don't care about money. I don't care about it. Wealth is not accomplished by money. Wealth is accomplished by what you have and what you buy. Your assets. Assets and passive assets. This is why they get on TV and they, they sit and tell you, oh, we gonna tax the rich. How? I would like to see that. That's just something they telling you. They cannot tax the rich. Look at it. Look it up. Go on Google. How much taxes, how much taxes do and whatever rich person you ask, pay. They don't pay no taxes. That's why their money keep going up. They don't pay taxes. They learn the system. I got the system for you. I got books. You need to read them. I done read them already. Every book that I sent you, I'm reading. I done read it. You need to read. That's what you don't do. You don't read. So then you're going to be stuck in this system and the system that they made for you forever. You got a small window. You can use it. Get out of it. My family going to be out of it. I can buy what I want to buy. When I want to buy it. This is something that's alarming. And it should be alarming to you. And anybody that's around you. You need to get in groups. And y'all need to learn. Once you get the books that I got for you, all you got to do is go ahead and put them on a flash drive. And then once you put them on a flash drive, you can copy them. Copy. And everybody will have those books. Shit, you ain't paying for them anyway. I'm giving them to you. But you ain't going to even get them because you don't even care about that. What you care about is the almighty dollar. But the almighty dollar doesn't mean shit. It don't mean nothing. What means what, what what is meant is all my assets 
That's what I did. I start buying assets. Assets. Not this car. That's a liability. But I can make it into an asset. How can I make it into an asset? Because I make this car make money for me. And then it becomes an asset. That's because I'm going to get what I what I put into this car. I'm going to get more out of it. That's how you figure out your plan. That's how you make your plan. See, you can use this as a tool because a car is needed. But it's not an asset it is a liability and it will remain a liability into the day you die a car is a liability because it takes money out of your pocket you have to learn all these tricks and trades people people have laughed at me and man believe me i've been laughed at i've been talked about um this i'm that i've been called every name under the sun but how many niggas you gotta think how many black folks how many thoughts that laughed at me now wish they was in my position see I, when I buy a house I buy three units three units that way my rent will be free You have to buy in numbers. See, it's a numbers game. You buy it in numbers. But, you know what I'm saying, get you two units and up, your mortgage will be paid for and your rent will be free. This is what they don't want you to know. And this is what they hide from you every time. So you have to really understand the powers of money because money is not what it is. It is used for a tool to buy you all assets. But if you're crazy enough, you won't buy all assets. You'll go buy some Nike. That's not an asset. It's a liability. You'll go buy all the sharp clothes. That's not an asset. That's a liability. You go buy all the cars. That's a liability. That's not an asset. When you start buying rental property, when you start going buying all assets with your money, no matter what they may be, you can leverage that. I don't care what money they have, what money they come up with. You got something that you can leverage it with. See, even if you had to barter, you can barter your way through. Think. Use your brain. You're smarter than that. Trust me. If you use your brain for five years, just use your brain for five years. Come back and tell me where you are. I'll leave you as I find you. In peace.